What's up everyone? Sorry that my room is a mess. I'm actually just back home on vacation and my parents use my room as their walk-in closet. So today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I get when it comes to training and nutrition. How much protein do I need to build muscle or how much protein do I need to prevent muscle loss? Basically, what is the optimum protein intake? Now, this is a very controversial topic. People will tell you to eat anywhere from half a gram per pound of body weight all the way up to two times, three times your body weight in grams of protein. For a 200 pound guy, this means you're eating 600 grams of protein. Now, I feel like the common misconception behind this is that protein gets you strong, gets you ripped. And I feel like the general population eats way more protein than they need to be. Now, let me tell you this. Most of the studies out there are based on sedentary individuals, endurance athletes, basically people who are not relevant to you if you are a general person who is going to the gym, working out maybe a few days a week, and just trying to get a little bit stronger. So I'm going to tell you how much protein I consume and what I recommend for you. In the description box below, I'm also going to be putting out some articles on protein findings. So I weigh 170 pounds and I have about 100 grams of protein daily. Do I count this? No. Is this optimal? For me it is and so maybe it'll work for you too. So even though most supplement companies would want you to believe that one gram per pound of body weight is the optimal protein intake, I don't think this is the case. Take the Hodge twins for example, they weigh something like 200, 220 pounds and they only have about 100 to 150 grams of protein per day. Like I weigh what, 210? I should get at least 210 grams of protein per day. That's what it says in the magazine. No, and that's what it says on the back of a lot of protein. But look, we get 120 to 140 grams of protein per day. Calm down, man. You look like in all seriousness, if you're a natural athlete, you need about 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. Yeah. Now, this ain't no bro size. This is what these science motherfuckers that came up with. So you gotta realize that there are a number of other factors contributing to how much protein you should be having per day. Your body weight, your lean body mass, which is basically the amount of muscle and skeletal weight you have on your body, minus the fat, and how many calories you're currently consuming. Whether you're in a caloric deficit, eating at maintenance, or at a caloric surplus. So today I'll go over protein needs based on caloric consumption. Everywhere you go, you're going to find a different number for your recommended protein intake, but this is what I recommend. When you're eating at a maintenance level of calories, you're going to be burning off exactly the same amount of energy as you're consuming through food. When at maintenance, I suggest that you have 0.6 to 0.8 grams per pound of protein. For a 170 pound guy, this is roughly between 100 and 140 grams of protein per day. Now, when you're in a caloric deficit, 0.73 grams per pound is said to be enough to preserve your muscle mass. While this obviously will depend on how deep of a caloric deficit you're in, but I personally recommend a gram per pound of body weight when you're in a caloric deficit to keep your bases covered and make sure you're preserving as much muscle as you can while you're on a cut. Now, when you're in a caloric surplus, you're eating a lot more food than you need to be, you might be in a bulking phase. The fat and the carbs in your diet are actually very muscle tissue sparing, and these will provide a buffer against muscle loss. For this reason, I again recommend 0 0.6 to 0.8 grams per pound of protein. Now, you might be thinking, hey, this is the same recommendation you gave for maintenance calories. Yes, it is. Why am I recommending this much? It's because personally, when I eat too little protein, I feel flimsy and weak, so I try to keep it in that 0.6 to 0.8 grams per pound range. Keep in mind that more protein doesn't necessarily mean better results for fat loss, for muscle gain. However, as long as you're staying within your caloric needs, eating enough carbs and fats for regular hormone regulation, then eating too much protein isn't an issue. Does it matter where you get your protein from? Not really, or at least I don't think so, but steak tastes a hell of a lot better than a protein shake. Now there's actually a couple scenarios where you might actually need more protein than the everyday individual. If you're a beginner or on anabolic steroids, there's a chance that your unusually high level of human growth hormone and testosterone might increase your protein need requirements. So in conclusion, if you have no idea how much protein you should be consuming, I would say start at one gram per pound of body weight as your baseline, and you can move up and down from there. Hope this video helps. Please show your support by leaving a comment in the section below, subscribing, liking the video, and I will see you in the next one.